Hello, welcome back to another episode of Tarot Celebrity, okay? Today we're going to be looking at Camila Cabello's and Shawn Mendes's cards. Um, this is, this is uh, a video that some of y'all wanted me to do of both of them together. And so that's what we're going to do. So first and foremost, I always wanted to preface by saying that here in the Ducky channel... Uh, we respect everyone, and whenever I'm reading people's cards, I respect their energy, and therefore I expect you all to also respect their energy, and also respect the messenger, aka me, okay? I'm just letting y'all see what I'm, or I'm just letting y'all know what I'm see, I'm seeing in the cards. Clearly I can't speak to today. Uh, I'm just letting y'all know what I'm seeing in the cards today. And remember that this is for entertainment purposes. Um, I've been practicing tarot card reading for over five years now. Um, but that's not to say that what shows up in the cards and what I see showing up in the cards is facts and it's cemented and it's concrete. Um, because the only ones that know the truth are the people themselves whose cards I'm reading for you today. So without further ado, let's get started on reading Sean and Camila's cards. So let's see how Sean's feeling right now about their split and how Camila's feeling about their split. All right. <clears throat> so let's see, how's Sean feeling about this split? The six of winter, the six of swords in reverse. Hmm. The nine of wands or the nine of spring in this deck in reverse. The queen of spring, the queen of wands in reverse. Oh, I did not expect that. Okay. These cards are kind of big, so. Got to space them out a little bit. Okay. And let's see Camila's cards. How are, how is, how does she feel about this split? The Nine of Winter, the Nine of Swords. In or not in reverse, right side up, sorry. The Five of Winter, the Five of Swords. The Moon, whoa. Interesting. All right, so let's get a mermaid and Dolphin's Oracle card representing Sean. The Black Dolphin, recognize which waves will carry you to your new horizon. Interesting. Uh, where do I put this? I'll put this here. All right. And let's get Camila's. The Undyne, a stream of plenty will flow into good fortune. <clears throat> All right, so right off the bat, y'all were wondering, like, are they going to probably get back together? Do you see them getting back together? Um, I'm getting the sense that there's a lot of, like, uh, passion here. And there's a lot of, like, thoughts going on, especially in, on Camilla's side with Two winter cards here. She's thinking a lot about this situation. And she's in her feels with this moon card. Um, so let's let's read hers. With the moon here and the five of winter representing feeling defeated, thoughts of feeling defeated, and the nine of winter, you know, like having trouble sleeping because of anxiety and overthinking. I'm having the sense that Camila is kind of having like second guesses about this whole situation. She's kind of like in her feels and she's like, oh, was I just like maybe feeling really down low or really low at the time? And I just kind of like ended something that I shouldn't have ended. That's kind of what I'm seeing. And with this being her card, the Undyne, a stream of plenty will flow into good fortune. And it's card number 11. 11 comes up to... um. It's a power number numerology, um, and some people talk about it being like twin flames and whatnot, but I added up to the number two, which equates, you know, um, harmony and 
good friendships, good relationships, stuff like that. So I get the feeling that like Camila is kind of in her feels and she's like, oh, did I leave a good relationship? Did I leave something good? Just because maybe I personally felt down. I felt a little bit depressed, maybe. Was I just not thinking clearly and I ruined something great? I ended something great because I was just in my feels. So this is kind of what's keeping her up late at night is what I'm seeing. Now let's go with Sean. <clears throat> the reason why I do feel like there's some unfinished business here or like there's just some there's still some passion here is because Sean got the six of winter, the six of swords in reverse, which is all about traveling normally and moving on. But in reverse, this is like feeling like you can't move on, like you can't move on. There's you don't really know what to do now. You don't know what the next step is. So I'm getting this sense that maybe like Sean was kind of blindsided by this um, and he's unable to move on from this because he's like, mate. He's like, where did this come from? Where did the split maybe come from? Um, and with the Queen of Spring, the Queen of Wands here in reverse, I'm getting the sense he feels like this is Camila. She's the queen. She's his Queen of Wands. But she like, this is in reverse. So it's like maybe she was just like very angry or very much in her feelings and just chant like a lot of angry emotions going on um, inside Camila, within Camila. And maybe she wasn't strong enough or like she was just not having a good day, you know, like maybe it was, or it was a, not a good moment for her, um, a good set of day or a set of days that were just not really good for her. And that's kind of what happened. Like he just got blindsided. Now, the interesting thing is that I'm seeing the nine of wands here, which talks about tenacity, you know, being strong, being strong willed, but this in reverse is giving me the sense that like maybe Camilla just gave up. Maybe Sean feels like Camilla kind of just gave up on herself, maybe gave up on like trying. And maybe she was just like in her feels and being very fiery and it, ch and it came out as anger. But the interesting thing is, is that we got nines here. We got 45, four plus five, which equals nine. And we got nine and nine represents, you know, being strong, being strong willed, being, tenacious you're almost at the end of something big or you're almost you know done with completing something so you got to finish strong you know stay persistent stay optimistic and i feel like sean maybe thinks that maybe camilla was just almost there she was almost you know gonna make a major breakthrough and instead she kind of let her emotions get the better of her and maybe she ended something abruptly because she was in a maybe in more negative headspace. That's kind of what I'm seeing. But the interesting thing is, is that like these Oracle cards, nine and 11 or nine and two, uh, when you add these up is. It's all about, you know, good relationships, a good harmony because you know if you add all these numbers up 11 45 you still also get add up to two in numerology which is all about pairs so like they're a really good pair um and that's why i feel like sean can't really move on from this and camilla camilla can't either she's kind of like oh geez she's like staring at the moon the moon this is her and she's like dang she can't sleep at night because she keeps on thinking like, dang, I'm maybe I'm ended something prematurely just because I was in a negative headspace. And I feel like Sean already knows this too. He knows this and that's why maybe he's unable to move on as well. Maybe he's not willing to move on yet. Um, maybe at the hopes that the two of them will get together. So let's see. Um, let's do some cards representing the likelihood of them coming together. Are they better off getting back together or are they better off just, you know, 
going their separate ways and maybe staying friends. Because from what I do know, I believe that they did end things mutually and on good terms. <clears throat> Again, y'all, I don't really keep up with celebrities. Um, so I'm just letting y'all know what I see in the cards. Um, so we're going to see. We're going to see what I see in these cards. Okay. <clears throat> Are Camilla and Sean better off as just friends and not lovers, not mutually exclusive? <clears throat> we got the Nine of Spring. Interesting. Let's get another card. The Prince of Winter, the Prince of Swords in reverse. The Page of Swords. And the King of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. Let me set this little thing. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> okay. What would the outcome be like if they get back together? The Princess of Spring. Oh, this is the Page of Wands. This is the Knight of Swords. Okay. If they get back together. Six of Pentacles. The Six of Autumn. <clears throat> and the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Spring. Okay. I feel... This is this is just me, y'all. From what's going on in the cards, I think the best bet is if they get back together. It seems like it'd be better off for them. Just judging off of the cards that came here. But let's start with, like, if they just stay uh, as friends. They got the Nine of Spring, so the Nine of Wands is all about, you know, again, being tenacious, being strong. So maybe if they just stay friends, um, they're going to have to be strong because it is going to be a little bit difficult people are, are going to be like talking um still ab about them and it's going to be difficult for them to just be friends because a lot of people are going to be like oh my gosh like i'm getting the sense they're going to be communicating like oh my gosh you guys were too both of y'all were so great together um and all this other stuff and if they don't want to get back together, then that's on them, you know, but it's going to be difficult because a lot of people are going to be communicating like, wow, like, what happened? Why don't you get back together with them? Um, and, and with the king of pentacles here in reverse, it seems like all this like talking that people might be doing, um, maybe convince, trying to convince them to get back together or, you know, stuff like that might do you, I might unmotivate them and might make them feel a little bit lethargic, a little bit lazy, a little bit like they lack a direction on their next steps. So that's kind of what's going on. If they stay as just friends, they're going to have to be strong because <clears throat> there's going to be a, a moment where it feels like they don't really know what the next step is. And... With the Knight of Swords here in reverse, maybe they're, like, just not going to be very motivated to, like, move on. Um, So they just got to stay strong. That's what I'm seeing. Now, I feel like, depending on what it is that either of them are looking for, if they were to get back together, things might actually be a lot better for them. Um. With the Six of Pentacles mentioning all about generosity, being very giving, it seems like if they get back together, Sean and Camilla, they're going to be very caring and attentive and giving to each other. They're going to really know what one, one another needs from, from the other one and vice versa. There's going to be a lot of generosity in this relationship if they get back together. And again, it's going to be like explosions, like fireworks, you know, um... Things are going to move quickly. The Eight of Wands is all about fast movement. There's so much movement in this card and a lot of celebration. So there's going to be a lot of celebration and it's going to seem like fresh. It's going to be seem fresh. And they're going to be kind of in that honeymoon phase again where they're all just like giving to one another. And, and they 
caring to each other's needs. Um, so the thing with them getting back together is just to not let this spark die out again, because it seems like maybe this first time, this first go around, maybe they were caring to one, each, one another's needs and then things stopped. And maybe that's kind of what caused the the emotional and mental turmoil that maybe Camila might have been going through, um, which was shown on the cards previously that maybe she kind of was just going through a rough patch and she kind of made a decision based off of her emotions and not really thinking clearly. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of what I'm seeing. So let's get some advice for them. Let's end things on a positive note because we love to end things on a positive note here. Given some advice to our beautiful celebrities. So top row will be advice for Sean. Bottom row will be advice for Camila. And I'm not sure if I shuffle these cards. So we're going to shuffle them again. It doesn't hurt to shuffle more, right? Right? Am I right? Or like, am I wrong? But like, am I right? Shoo. Chee! All right. Let's get some advice for Sean. He got Melisina. The calm of patience brings a tranquil sea of protection. He just needs to be calm. Chill. All right. And Camilla's Oracle. Oh. 36, the pilot will. You are your own fate and control your own destiny. Exactly. Exactly. This is tying in with like the first set of cards that came up in the beginning of this video is that like she is in charge. We all are in charge of our own fate, you know? And she just made some decisions based on her moods, her on her feelings, her emotions at that time. And that's it. All right, let's get some cards representing advice for Sean. The Ten of Winter. The Ten of Swords. Oof. The Two of Spring. The Two of Wands in Reverse. Five of Summer. Five of Cups in reverse for Camilla and the Ace of Winter, the Ace of Swords for Camilla. All right, so this is what I'm seeing. Let's start with beautiful ladies first. Let's read Camilla's cards. All right, Camilla. We got the Five of Cups here in reverse. The Five of Cups normally talks about feeling sad, crying over spilled milk, you know, like... You're focusing on the negatives rather than the positives, but this came out in reverse. So advice for Camilla is to switch that around, focus on all of the blessings you have right now, Camilla, Camilla because there's a lot more blessings than um, negative things going on in your life. Remember that you are in charge of your own fate. You are the painter of your own masterpiece. You are the director of your own life movie. You control your own destiny. Um, so don't let e your emotions get the better of you to where you start making a lot of important decisions based off of your current emotional state. Um, really think things thoroughly and not allow your personal feelings or your, you know, your personal emotions uh, Dictate your actions and dictate your thoughts and your choices. <clears throat> and last card for Camila is the Ace of Winter. Uh, really communicate your needs. Really be a little bit more uh, forceful. The Ace of Winter is the Ace of Swords, which is all about, you know, force. You know, um, get it going after what you want or communicating what it is that you need, that you want. Um, so really communicate more uh camilla really needs to communicate more of what she needs or what she wants especially when she's in her feelings just she really just needs to communicate more like 
you know, communicate like, hey, I'm maybe not having the best day today. So like if I'm a little bit moody, I'm so sorry, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, she really just needs to communicate this if she really wants to move on and heal and grow and become better out of this experience, whether her and Sean get back together or not. This is what's what she really needs to do is just really acknowledge her emotions Um <clears throat> know when she's feeling overly emotional or overly emo like some type of emotion you know we're multifaceted we're complex so um whatever emotion she's feeling at the time really um acknowledge it but also know that you're more than just those certain feelings and just communicate communicate your needs your thoughts your concerns um your feelings just uh, communicate them a little bit more openly because people will be willing to understand her if she's just like hey y'all like i'm having a a weird day i'm just kind of grumpy today so i'm so sorry <laughs> i do that too so <clears throat> and you'll be surprised how much people are understanding they'll be like oh okay you know um <clears throat> and stay strong you got card number 36 which adds up to nine which is all about tenacity staying strong stay strong um don't let your emotions dictate your feelings and your thoughts and everything, because we're all complex. Um, we got Melisina for Sean Mendez. Card number 17, which adds up to eight, which is kind of all what uh, I'm seeing about, like, cycles. The calm of patience brings a tranquil sea of protection. So Sean Mendez really needs to come up with, like, a cycle or, like, uh, a schedule, a routine. There we go. That's the word I'm I'm thinking of. A routine on how to really calm his own emotions, and a routine for helping him like calm the emotions of others whenever they're kind of starting to feel it a lot of in in their emotions. Um, he needs to come up with a routine that really helps him stay centered, stay grounded, stay at peace, and not allowing other people's emotions sway him one way or another because he does get really hurt he's very sensitive is what i'm seeing and with the ten of ten of winter ten of winter <laughs> the ten of swords uh, um showing up here this card talks about feeling extremely like backstabbed or hurt by those that you love so it seems like sometimes he because he is emotional himself sometimes he tries to care for others especially when they're having a low moment or a hard moment and then he kind of gets the short end of the stick and then he ends up getting hurt because the other party is feeling moody or irritable or something so he really needs to find a routine a healthy routine that helps him stay emotionally centered and grounded and at peace um that way, his relationships, whether they're, you know, romantic relationships, uh, friendly, um, you know, with family, any kind of relationship, that way they won't, he won't get hurt by them and feel betrayed. And that's what I'm seeing. So let me know what y'all thought about this reading. I really enjoyed uh, doing a little bit of follow up for for y'all on Sean Mendez and Camila Cabello. So let me know what you thought of this reading uh give me a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you did not like it feel free to drop a comment or a suggestion on whose cards i should read next thanks so much for being here and i'll see y'all later bye